everything changes. Hey YouTube, um, I know it's been a while, how you doing? I'm um, just going to go ahead and do a quick product review for you. Uh, I've been work I've had this product for about three months now, maybe a little bit longer. Um, that is the Renogy 200 watt kit, solar panel kit. The panels themselves are actually rated for, I believe it's 5.2 amps and 19 watts. They perform better than their actual rating. They're really good panels in my opinion. And as long as you keep up with the maintenance and cleaning them off uh, on a monthly basis or sooner, depending on if you get bird poop and so on and forth on them, they're, they perform excellently. The issue that I have with the solar panel kit in general is the MPPT, the actual company, and kind of false advertising that they're doing. So let's get into the MPPT. The MPPT is actually um, made pretty flimsily. The screws in which you tighten the wires in to have the connectivity to charge your batteries and so on and so forth are actually really shoddily made. Um, if you over tighten it you'll pop them. If you under tighten it everything will slip out and there's no real um, sweet spot. You essentially have to get short wires and apply it to a board and staple it down for it to actually remain inside. That's that's my suggestion. Um, the second thing that's an issue with the MPTT uh, f for this specific rover is that the information that's provided by the MPPT is actually very very inaccurate. The only accurate things you get off of there are the wattage going in and the amperage going in. Everything else is complete and utter malarkey. It's based on your current amperage um, over time plus your base. You never know your actual base. They don't tell you what that is. Uh, it's a very important information. So short of putting a voltage meter on there, you're never going to know what it really is. So keep in mind that uh, this is going to cause you issues. The other thing that's an issue with the MPPT uh, other than the shoddily made craftsmanship and the incorrect information being displayed is that it is the, act, the, the crux of the system. It is what makes the system 12 volt. It, the, in reality, the way it's set up is the solar panel, the 200 watt solar kit panel, is actually a 24 volt system and the MPPT converts it to 12 volt based on your battery's configuration. Now, this creates multiple issues in my opinion. Um, one, it's not a true 12 volt, so if you have any issues going on with the MPPT, you could potentially overcharge your battery and blow it up. You could um, fry out your inverter. Also, the second thing is is that it's, does, it's only a single point of failure, and that is a major issue when true 12 volts systems with multiple panels have multiple points of failure, and that's an important uh, thing that they're, they're cutting out. They don't give you the Y clips, which they should. Then the next thing is the customer service. The customer service is just downright horrible, in my opinion. Um, it took two weeks to find anybody competent enough to run me through uh, how to test the product properly um, because they were telling me three or four different things that made no sense and so eventually when I finally got to talk to an engineer or somebody who actually knew what they were talking about it took me five seconds I plugged it in I tested it and I found out what the issue was um, that being said when I went to go ship this back you would expect because it's a defective product to ship it immediately in a two-day or overnight packaging and getting it back in the same manner. However, Renogy is kind of shysty and they like to save money. So what they did was they only ship ground. And it takes anywhere from five to seven business days for something to arrive. If you send it in on Friday, they most likely won't give it to you until mo ship it until Monday, and then you won't receive it until Sunday or Monday the next week. So if something that's extremely critical to your living, um, you would be fucked for a week's time. And Renogy doesn't give a shit, and they basically tell you to eat crow, uh, because it's somewhere on their page. They don't take any responsibility for shipping out defective products or quality control. So, with that said, um, I would say if you want to buy the panels, go for it. The panels are actually pretty damn good. You're you're not probably going to find much better panels. At least in my case, I got really good panels. Um, but if you can avoid them. Renogy specifically, the direct company, and go through a third-party salesman, I'm sure you'll get better shipping, better customer service, and just better overall everything and, and understanding because the person who's 
you're dealing with is probably doing solar specifically every single day. Renergy does it too, but apparently they don't care enough to be informed when their customers call, in my opinion. So that's basically my review for the Renogy 200 watt kit with the Rover MPPT 40 amp. If you have any questions about my review or have any comments, just go ahead and comment below. And if you enjoy the video, go ahead and like, subscribe, you know, standard YouTube crap. And otherwise, you guys have yourself a great day. Thanks for watching. Everything changes.